Look at the bark on it, it's coming out pretty. Welcome back to my channel, family, BBQ for Dummies. Today we got a special one. We doing beef ribs, family. We gonna smoke them on the Weber Smoking Mountain. We looking at a cook from about five hours. It's super simple, family. Even a dummy like me could do it. So we got the Smoky Mountain out there ready to roll. Now we get ready to prep these beef ribs and we gonna get this thing done. Let's do it, family. Okay, here we are, family, with a uh, choice rib, beef rib. Now, with the beef rib, you're not gonna do it like you do your pork ribs. We're gonna leave the, man the membrane on because we're gonna have these things falling off the bone. So we want this membrane to hold it together. But it's gonna be the same process only thing we're not doing, we're not taking off the membrane. We're going to olive oil it down for a binder. Get it lubricated. And we're going to cook, we're going to cook these bone side down. All right, we're hitting them with two different seasons because y'all know I like the compound flavors. We're going to hit them with the regular, prime, simple, just pepper, salt, and garlic. Real simple. You don't want to overdo this. This is a simple cook, y'all. The only thing you need on this is basically time. But it's a real simple cook. Just keep that membrane on. Then we're going to hit them again with the smoked onions on the back side. That's just to add a little flavor to it because you know I like the compound flavors. But anyway, we're going to hit them for about five and a half, six hours. We're going to hit them about three hours with some smoke. And we smoking these bad boys with musky and hickory we're gonna hit them with about three hours worth of smoke and then turn right around and wrap them for another two hours until they tenderize but when we rewrap them we're not gonna do it in lunar fall we're gonna do it in butcher wrap why are you doing it in butcher wrap because the lunar fall tends to tank it up it uh uh it really has it too moist. And when you put it in that butcher paper, it soaks up all the moist. Because I want a beautiful bark on this thing. It's almost like cooking a steak on bones. So that, that, that aluminum fall is too moist. I need something to get that, 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 that wrap up out of it. I mean the, the moist out of it. Hit it with the light smoked onion. Because y'all know I like the stack flavors. And we're going to go about 250 to 225, low and slow. Like I said before, we're going to hit them with three hours worth of smoke and two hours worth of wrap. That's what we looking like. Make sure you get that salt and pepper. This is a simple meal, y'all. Only thing you basically need for this one is time. Okay, good people, we already got them seasoned. We got the grill going. Now all we gotta do is get them on, and I'll meet y'all outside. Let's do it. Okay, y'all, we outside on this beautiful day. We are getting ready to throw these things on. Now, on my Weber Smoking Mountain today, I do have the water pan. We are cooking on the top shelf. We looking at a temp of 225 to 50, low and slow. We looking for a five and a half, six hour cook. We're gonna do three hours, we're gonna put that smoke on it, we're gonna put that musky and hickory on it, and we're gonna let it roll for three hours. We're gonna take it off, wrap it in our butcher paper for another two hours, and let it dog on tenderize. But let's roll right now. We're just putting these bad boys on. This is super simple, family. Boom. And as I always say, we're gonna shut it and forget it. Okay, fam, we back. We at the three and a half hour mark. Let's see what we working with. Bark on it. Look at the money shot. Look at the bark on it. It's coming out pretty. So we at the three and a half hour family. So we're going to wrap it and put it back out here and let it, because we already got all our smoke in. We're going to bring it back out and let it tender for another hour, hour and a half. Okay, we three and a half hours in. I want y'all to take a look at it, y'all. Look at the bark on it. it come, it's coming out real nice. So now what we do, we use to give it the poke test. I, uh... I probed it outside, we had 190 something. I want to be at 200 to 202. But I'm going to wrap it and take it back out there for another 30, 45 minutes. Look at the poke test, y'all. 
So you want to poke it in there and see how tender it is. It has no, it still has a little pull to it. So we're gonna take it out there and let it tenderize a little more. But it's coming out nice. So we're gonna wrap it and put it back on the grill. Okay, family, see how we got it wrapped? It's folded. Do the best you can with this. And now we're gonna go throw it back on the grill and let it tenderize for another 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, y'all, let's recap on the cook. We had a beef rib, we was real super simple. We used a little salt, pepper, G, a little SPG, a little salt, pepper, and garlic. We put it on the Weber Smoking Mountain for approximately three hours, got a good smoke into it. After we got that good smoke into it, we wrap it into some butcher paper for another two hours to tenderize it. After we tenderize it, I put it in my cooler for an hour, and this is what we got, family. Think she came out pretty good. I think she came out pretty good. So we're gonna cut them. I'm not gonna eat them because I'm cooking this for somebody and I don't want to eat their food. But we're gonna cut it and take a look at it. As always, family, another great cook. Too bad I couldn't take a bite, but I'll get it the next time. But I need y'all to do me three things this week, family. I need y'all to like, subscribe, and cook something for your family. As always, y'all stay wealthy.